So now that Minecraft Dungeons is on Steam, we're going to look at how we can add mods to Minecraft Dungeons, the Steam version. Now it's actually easier than you may think. What we need to do is get Steam installed, then go onto our library, go and find Minecraft Dungeons, right click, go manage and then go browse local game files. This will then bring a window pop up. This window will pop up with your game files and we just need to navigate to the right place. So the place we need to go to is Dungeons content pit packs and within here is all the PAKs you can extract them you can look at them there's ways of doing things with them basically what mods do at the moment is they either make new ones or they manipulate old ones for game files within the packs so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to right click we're going to go new and then we're going to go new folder with this new folder we need to have the tilde symbol which is like a little squirrely line and then we're going to do mods so mods enter it's as simple as that so enter into there now we need to go get some mods so there is more than one place to get a mod i'm going to go off to dungeoncollector.co.uk i am then going to go mods and these are some mods that i've made that you can download and use within minecraft dungeons so quite a popular one is my sabers that i've done i'm going to download this and put it into the steam version of minecraft Dungeons. so i've clicked the download it is then downloaded it for me into my downloads folder i'm going to go and open up my downloads so there's my sabers, it's down there. I'm going to minimize my web browser and then I've got my mods folder open here. I'm going to literally drag it across and drop it into there. So once we've done that, we can add many mods into here. Just remember that some mods, if they are the same thing or they take use of the editing the text within the game, uh, the local res, I believe it is, um, sometimes they get overwritten. So the text may not be the same. It may revert back to the default option, but Anyway, the mod should still do what it says it does. It should still have the model and the animations and things like that, depending if it is a weapon mod or it is a skin change or a level mod or there's lots of different things out there. So just have a play, have a browse and download and have some fun, basically. So anyway, what we're going to do is minimize these two browsers and go and play Minecraft Dungeons and hopefully our mod will be there and we'll be able to see it. So here is our mod within Minecraft Dungeons, it is as easy as that to get mods within Minecraft Dungeons on the Steam version. Now unfortunately they haven't taken it upon themselves to build in the Steam Workshop so that's probably never going to be an option and that would make it even better. But anyway, we can do it, we can get it done and we can get mods into our game. So anyway, hopefully this has helped you, thanks for watching, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on Minecraft Dungeons.